What is up, Cinepals? Welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Steph Sabra. Hello. What up, bro? What up? We are watching Misery. Never seen this film before, obviously. Uh, it's a classic, Stephen King. Um, oh no. I've <laughs> oh, no. Do you know what we're getting into? No. You don't know anything about this? I just this? know Stephen King is a horror legend. I guess it will probably be pretty horrific. It's like I know things about this movie and certain things that are like very famous, like certain scenes. Uh, I know that Kathy Bates gave an immense performance in this movie and so I am scared, apprehensive and excited to check this out. So you guys, if you want to watch the entire reaction along with us without any cuts or interruptions, getting the full cringe, ah, whatever with that we end up doing while we watch this, you can do that uh, one of two ways. You can do that on our Patreon, patreon.com slash jabbykaway or by becoming a member of this channel. You will need your own uh, copy of the film. We are watching this through Showtime. I b bought a Showtime thing just to watch this they got me but yeah if you have showtime and you want to watch along with us you can do that um and if you're here on youtube thank you very much please don't forget to subscribe click the bell icon all notifications and upvote this video let's start this misery train it's nice He was ready. Yeah. Oh, and a cigarette. Well deserved. For funsies. Yep. I feel like that's not the best car for riding through <laughs> snow. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. This is not a good car for this weather. I feel so bad he was on such a high vibe. Oh, oh shit. No, that's not a good celebration. Nope. I'm your number one fan. <gasps> there is nothing to worry about. You're gonna be just fine. What? Where? We're just outside Silver Creek. My name is Annie Wilkes. I'm your number one fan. <laughs> yes, I'm also a nurse. Convenient. Here, take these. What are those? Yeah, also, why aren't you in a hospital? What are they? They're called Novril. They're for your pain. Let's get you addicted to pain pills. Yeah. How come I'm at the hospital? The blizzard was too strong. I couldn't risk trying to get you there. Oh. I tried calling, but the phone lines are down. That's convenient. Will I be able to walk? Of course you will. And your arm will be fine, too. Your shoulder was pretty badly dislocated, but I finally popped it back in. Ay, ay, ay. What I'm most proud of is the work I did on those legs. Considering what I had around the house, I don't think there's a doctor who could have done any better. It's best for your legs to remain immobile. And as soon as the roads open, I'll take you to a hospital. It looks like his legs are about to fall off. He looked bad. And Al, I'm calling from New York City. I'd like to speak to the Silver Creek chief of police or sheriff. Call me Buster. Everybody does. What can I do for you? How come his phone line's working? I think one of my clients, Paul Sheldon, might be in some kind of trouble. I'm sure you know that uh, Paul's been coming to the Silver Creek Lodge for years to finish his books. They said he checked out last Tuesday. It's been a week. Yeah. I'll put his name through our system. If anything turns up, I'll call you right back. We got a phone call. Busy morning. <laughs> Virginia, when was that blizzard? Last Tuesday? Why? Oh, you're right. A whole week. Girl, I don't it's, need a shave. Ooh. I guess it's, it was kind of a miracle you finding me. In a way, I was following the shots. You. What? I was on my way home, and there you were, leaving the lodge. And I wondered why a literary genius would go for a drive when there was a big storm coming. I, I didn't know there was a big storm coming. <sighs> I've read everything of yours, but the misery novels. I know them all by heart. All eight of them. Oh, God. You're very kind. Red flag, red flag. And you're flag. very brilliant. When do you think the phone lines will be up? Shouldn't be too much longer now. Once the roads are open, the phone lines will be up in no time. Mm. In your case, there's a new Paul Sheldon book, and... You want to read it? If, if you wouldn't mind. Oh, I'll get you your novel, Paul. Forgive me for prattling away and making you feel all oogie. Oh, gosh. Yeah. 
Mm. Just using the word oogie is a red flag. <laughs> On page 75. Uh oh. I guess that means it's okay. Would great be insulting? I can live with great. I'd love to stay here and chat, but I'm right at the end and I gotta find out what happens. Yeah, maybe you don't want to. Two chapters. It can't take that long to read two chapters. Uh oh, she's gonna wake him up. You dirty bird. How could you? No. She can't be dead. Annie, in 1871, women often died in childbirth. I yell, murder her! No, she died. She just slipped away. Slipped away? Slipped away? She didn't just slip away. You did it. Holy crap. You murdered my misery. Annie. Annie. Oh. I thought you were good, Paul. You're just another lying old dirty birdie. Oh, God. And don't even think about anybody coming for you. GTFO, my man. Because I never called them. Nobody knows you're here. And you better hope nothing happens to me. Because if I die, you die. The original toxic fandom. <laughs> oh my god. You oh. better crawl. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Now. Go. God, are his legs like super messed up? Was she even treating them? What? Okay, we got it. Oh! oh god. Oh god. Oh god, they look so bad. There's no way this is good. Oh my god, they're disgusting. God, it's locked. You poor dear thing. What are you doing on the floor? Here, let me help you back in. Oh, oh, Daisy! Oh. There you go. Comfy? Perfect. I have a big surprise for you. But first, there's something you must do. Oh, God. Sometimes my thinking is a little muddy. I accept that. That's why I couldn't remember all the things they were asking me on the witness stand in Denver. Did she murder her husband? I think so. No, girl. <sighs> this is so upsetting. Yeah. And this Stop. was before There's computers. no copies. Yep. You must rid the world of this filth. As long as it does exist, your mind won't ever be free. What's the prequel story of her? Yeah, right? Can't you see it's what God wants? You're so brilliant, I would think you'd certainly be able to see that. What the hell are you doing, lady? Please, help me help you. Wow, oh this is so upsetting. Yeah. You're doing the right thing. Oh, my goodness! Goodness gracious! Oh, my! That is so depressing. Yeah. Here's your novel. Don't take the Don't drugs. take it. Yep, okay. She's gonna find them later, though, I'm sure. See, isn't this nice? Right. I always wanted to visit the other side of the room. This is a very big day for you, Paul. You just sit tight and I'll set everything up. Set what up? Your new studio. Oh, God. After all, writers do need a place to work. What in the world do you think I'd write? You're going to write a new novel. Your greatest achievement ever. Misery's Return. I know you didn't mean it when you killed her. And now you'll make it right. Girl. You just expect me to whip something off, is that it? Yes. I expect nothing less than your masterpiece. This is not the ordinary way in which books get written. I mean, some people might actually consider... Take this and knock her out. Well, at least he's got a wheelchair now. What is that? I guess you don't get bothered by neighbors much. Don't you worry about that. You'll have... Oh. 
I got you this expensive paper to type on. And I got a great deal on this 50-pound clunker on account of it's missing an end. 50 pounds. I can't work on this paper. It, it smudges. But mine costs the most, so I don't see how it can smudge. Come here, I'll show you. Oh, God. It does smudge after all. Mmm. Anything else I can get while I'm in town? I'll just... The, the paper will be fine. Because if you want, I'll bring back the whole store for you. Oh, God. What's the matter? I'll tell you what's the matter. I go out of my way for you. And you just better start showing me a little more appreciation around here, Mr. Man. Oh, <gasps> Damn. Yeah. Absolute nut job. Right, what are you gonna do? Do you know how to pick a lock with a bobby pin? Mm, okay. All right. God. I would not know how to do this. <laughs> you know, it's like a, I'm gonna YouTube how to pick lock. Oh, oh God. How long does it take her to go into town? Come on, you've written about this, not the wit. <gasps> oh. Come on. Get a move on. Get a move on. This house is probably not even wheelchair accessible. Oh god, is it locked from the freaking outside? <gasps> oh god, she's probably the type of person who notices, like, that her penguin is facing the wrong direction. What is in here? I just keep expecting to see her dead husband. Right. Oh my gosh, she she's is... wearing loafers in the snow? She's a savage. Yes. Oh my god. Right, yes. Don't slam it. Don't slam it. Ah! He has to lock the door. He has to lock the door. Lock the door. Lock the door. Cover it up! Cover it! Just the kind you asked for. Paul, your color is very hectic. What have you been doing? Your color is very hectic. I've been sitting here suffering. I need my pills. I want my pain to go away, Annie. Oh, gosh. It just breaks my heart to see you like this. She's so scary! Yes. Oh, the door's ajar. Yeah. He never crawled out of that car by himself. Someone pulled him out. I am confident that the old man can find him, but when he does, can he take on Kathy Bates? Right. Something that people often burn their fingers on, you said. Okay. He's keeping all the powder. What you Sniffing it? I think he's trying to see what it is. Oh, okay. If it actually is anything, right? Yeah. What are we typing? I'm sorry, Paul. This is all wrong. It's not worthy of you. Throw it all out. Except for that part of naming the grave digger after me. You can leave that. <laughs> Misery was buried in the ground at the end, Paul. So you'll have to start there. She knows his books and characters. It's gonna more turn into a him. zombie. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I mean, realistically, it would probably take like 
months to walk, right? Yeah. If he can. What do you think, Annie? Should I continue? You better. Oh, Paul. Oh, Mrs. Lund! Ah, girly! Would you have dinner with me tonight to celebrate Misery's return? Oh, Paul. It would be an honor. <laughs> do you have enough pills, Paul? Yeah. Let's do this right. Do you have any candles? I'll go look. Did you uh, study decorating or do you just have a flair? Oh, you. Hurry, 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 hurry. I can't. Mix it. Oh, maybe that's why he was tasting it. I was just wondering if it has a taste. Oh, yeah. To Misery and to Annie Wilkes, who brought her back to life. Oh, Paul, I get goosebumps every time I think about it. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, oh. oh, shit! Oh, I'm so sorry, Paul. I ruined your beautiful toast. Will you ever forgive me? Oh, God. I... Oh, God. I saw that going a completely different direction. Oh, this is positively the best misery you've ever written. He's really writing. He's writing for his life. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Oh, he's weight training? Yep. Get swole, brother. When she said it was 50 pounds, I was like, okay. You've got a big fight ahead you of you. <laughs> oh, why does she look miserable? Here's your pills. What happened? Annie, what is it? The rain. Sometimes it gives me the blues. Jeez, you got problems, girly. When you first came here, I only loved the writer part of Paul Sheldon. But now I know I love the rest of him, too. Oh, God, no. I know you don't love me. You're a beautiful, brilliant, famous man of the world, and I'm not a movie star type. Yeah, you're a serial killer. <laughs> Soon you'll be wanting to leave. What? I have this gun. Thanks for showing the class, Annie. I better go now. She is hella weird. <laughs> I might put bullets in it. What? Oh my goodness. What a character. What? Okay, all right. She's gonna notice that one. Yeah. Gone. Gotta. I mean, it's Not now or never, slyest. I guess. There is a justice higher than that of man. What? They're hauling misery into court. He's like well into it now. He's like, baby, gotta get into this. <laughs> higher than that of man. I will be judged by him. Is that familiar? Was that in her court case? Is that what she said? Maybe. Smart girl. <gasps> She's keeping a scrapbook. Stop it. Oh, it's her. Okay. Top nursing student falls to. I cannot. Ah. <gasps> Imagine it's her like being your maternity someone dies, nurse. and then maybe Lucy dies after five weeks trouble in the hospital. <gasps> Second newborn death. Oh no! Oh no! Baby. Oh no! What? You were oh no! Right. She's a baby Serial killer. killer. Nurse question in hospital infant death. Stop it! She's a baby killer. Is she free? There's nothing I can think of scarier than a baby killer. Yeah. What are you doing? Where are you hiding it? In the bed. Yeah. Do you think she's changed the sheets at all? Like, does oh, she Oh, that's true. She's there, isn't she? She's right there. She's right there. Ah! Ah! No! Oh, God. Oh, shit. That's so scary. Uh, 
I know you've been out. Fine. Oh, his legs actually look good. My little ceramic penguin in the study always faces due south. Told you. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Ceramic penguin. She took it away. Is this what you're looking for? <gasps> Do you know what they did to the native workers who stole diamonds? If they caught them, they had to make sure they could go on working. But they also had to make sure they could never run away. <gasps> yep. Whatever you think I'm not doing, please don't do it. No, oh. no, 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 Annie, please. Please. Shh, darling. I can't. No, no, no. It's for the best. Annie, please! <laughs> oh, I'm so upset. God, I love you. Oh, my oh, God. Jesus Christ. The scene is iconic. I did know this was coming, but... Oh, um, my God. I didn't. Ugh. Do you think he'll never walk again? <sighs> I don't know. What's she buying? Paper? Look up her purchase history. Did she move from a different town? There, yeah, that's it. The quote. Ay, ay, ay. He must have like a kind of photographic memory almost. Yeah. Has she been uh, buying anything odd lately? Miss Wilkes. Same old stuff. Except? Paper odd. Newspaper? No, typing kind. Well, that kind. Nothing odd about that. If anything happens to Buster, I'm going to war. <laughs> I don't know, like throw, like literally send out everything you've Smoke got. Smoke signals, scream. Oh no, 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 don't let her. No. He is high as a kite now. I'll ever understand you. I cook your meals. I tend to you practically 24 hours a day. Girl. Dang. That was quick. How do you... What can I do for you? Well, I was wondering, do you happen to know anything about Paul Sheldon? Well, he was born in Worcester, Massachusetts 45 years ago. The only child of Franklin and Helene. Wow. Here I am, prattling on, and my manners have just flown away. I haven't invited you in. Please. Thank you. Mind if I take a look around? Of course not. You're going to laugh at what I'm about to say, but go ahead. I don't care. When I was praying, God told me to get ready. Get ready for what? To be his replacement. Oh. God, she thinks about everything. I know how he wrote. I spent the last four weeks trying to write like Paul Sheldon. Oh, it's four weeks? Well, if you wouldn't mind, perhaps I could pay you another visit sometime. I'd be delighted now that you know the way. You're in trouble now. Oh, God. She's she going to go out the you. Gun? Oh, she didn't, she didn't lock the door. Oh. Oh, dude, call for backup. No, he's gonna kill her. No, I can't. Mr. Sheldon? Ah! Oh my god, oh my Damn! god, oh my god, not Buster! Don't feel bad, Paul. It was bound to happen sooner or later. It's a sign. That you're mentally unstable? You and I were meant to be together forever. Oh, oh god. Now our time in this world must end. My god. No. I've prepared for what must be done. I put two bullets in my gun. You go first. Oh, darling, it'll be so beautiful. I'm not. Oh, what are you doing? What are you gonna do? Now, don't be afraid. Oh, God, she's thought of everything. I love you. What the hell? And you're right. We are meant to be together so that misery can live. We must finish the book. Way to buy some time. Wow. He's 
so good at like keeping a straight face right. when he's saying that stuff to her. When I finish, I'll need three things. What things? You mean you don't know? You need a cigarette, and you have just one, and you need one glass of champagne. Dom Perignon. Dom Perignon. <laughs> Forevermore. Yeah. That is what it shall be yeah. called. It's like Chianti. Annie. Yes, Paul. Are you done? I'm almost done. Get the champagne. Okay. Okay. You've got one shot. Wow. She went all out with the Dom. Mm-hmm. Did I do good? You did perfect. Very much daddy issues. This time we'll need. Glasses. Oh, Paul. Psycho! What are you gonna do? Where's the thingy? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna set it on fire. He's gonna make her crazy. Quickly. <laughs> oh god, oh god, do it in front of her. Do it in front of her. Remember how for all those years nobody knew who Misery's real father was? Or if they'd ever be reunited? You'll never know. It's all right here. Paul, you can't! Why not? I learned it from you. Ho ho ho! No, 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 Misery! Where's the gun? That's it. That's it. We're done. We're done. Oh, that book is gone. Oh, God. Burn her face. I don't know. Okay. Uh, I co-sign on all of this. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a lot of pent-up aggression. I feel you, my guy. Oh, God. Oh, no. Dude. Dude. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. She has no phone. Please tell me that his legs can be fixed. What can you do? (laughs) Oh my god, what? Girl, what? Oh, oh, with the pig, with the pig. Again, several times, please. Several times. Woo! Oh, that's a... Uh, Push her off. Oh, my God. I feel sick. I check her pulse and maybe bash her head another two more times. Right. Like, she's got to have her throat plunged out. Yeah. Just to make sure. Yeah. Just stay down. Oh, okay. Woo. Oh, oh, my God. Cut to 18 months later. Oh, you okay. walk. He's got a handy dandy cane and a great story. <laughs> this is it. Very first copy. I don't think I'm completely nuts, but in some way, Annie Wilkes, that old experience, uh, helped me. Well, I'm glad you came out of your trauma, like, better. How would you feel about a nonfiction book? About what went on in that house? Yep. See, yeah. Marsh, if I didn't know you better, I think you were suggesting I dredge up the worst horror of my life just so we could make a few bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, gosh. I thought you were over. I don't know if anyone could ever totally get over something like that. Wait, what the hell? You know, I know she's dead. I still think about her once in a while. Excuse me. Oh, my God. I don't mean to bother you, but are you Paul Sheldon? Oh, don't say I'm your biggest fan. I just want to tell you I'm your number one fan. Oh, shut up. That's very sweet of you. That's very gross. Thank you. (laughs) Super triggering. Wow. Oh, I don't think I'm okay after that. No, that was really disturbing. So disturbing. Oh my God. Holy crap. What a movie. What a movie. 
it's really good. <laughs> But torturous. So torturous. I mean, the whole time I was thinking, like, just like in terms of a kind of horrific story, a horror story that's in pretty much one location. You know, it's led by two amazing actors just working off of each other. All of that. I'm like, wow, this is really good. And just like the premise of the story, it's it's horrific. But it's not like, you know, oh, God, it's like zombies. Right, or like, like exorcism. Yeah. yeah. It feels like something that could maybe potentially happen. Like totally. someone who's a super fan and takes it too far. And I mean, I like the twist where it turns out that she is actually just super unhinged. And this is just who she is. But for me, I think the thing that I found really interesting was how I, I felt like it's almost like, I don't know if an allegory is the right word, but like, it's representative of maybe what uh, an abusive relationship feels like. Mm. Like just the way that that Annie Wilkes was, where one minute she's all like, oh, I'm your number one fan. I love you. You're amazing. And then like getting so angry and like, it's all your fault. And like, you need to fix this. And, blah, blah. and then the back and forth and like how, how he needs to survive in that situation by playing into her her craziness and just kind of acquiescing and agreeing and biding his time until the right moment where he's like, and now I can right. leave. You know, I I thought that, I don't know, for me that, that kind of st stood out as this uh, mm. interesting, like, I don't know how to describe it, but like yeah. kind of showing like the, the mechanics of what an abusive relationship is probably like, you know? Totally, yeah, it was mega <laughs> abusive. <laughs> I, it was just like a really great film. Like I, I feel so pretentious every time I'm like, I don't really love horror unless it has like some social takeaways yeah. or I don't like like slasher films, you know? Yeah. But this one, it just was, I feel like a masterclass in suspense. Yes. And kind of like, oh, look here. Oh, that didn't work. So we have to do this. Look here. And all of these like different switches and you like want it, want it to be the end, but you know it's not the end because we're only like 20 minutes in, an hour in, yeah, an yeah. hour 15 in. And like, you're just like, waiting the whole time, but the whole time you're just massively interested in these, like you said, two people, one set. R.I.P. Buster, never forget. Yeah. Also <laughs> Buster on the case. And I liked how like it was, it did a good job of like being in the time, but I still still think even in today's time I could see something like this still working you know like yeah there's a blizzard they're in a remote location yeah and like like it has all of the pieces and like you said just the the suspense was really good because like you were rooting for him to get out but she's also just terrifying because she's so unpredictable because like one minute she's all like oh yeah you know oh I I like, I don't know, her performance was just so good because she, she's, I totally buy her as this person. Like, this, there's this kind of joyful, childlike glee every time she's like, oh my God, what happens next? What happens next? This chapter is so exciting. And then she just turns on a dime and is this like crazy person who is going to kill you. I mean, I understand why um, she won awards for this role. Totally. Like, wow. Yeah, like her at the choices were so crazy. Like legit felt like I was watching an actual psycho person. Yeah. And not an actress. Because it wasn't like overdone. No. It was very like I just watched or just watched Silence of the Lambs. Yeah. And um the lead actor jo Anthony, oh, Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins. Yeah. It was like similar in those tones where it's like so subtle, but that's what makes it more psycho. And then those moments where she like raises her voice and becomes insane it really like highlights it more yeah yeah and and like there was something about her eyes as well and and they did a really good job of like really focusing in on her eyes because they just seemed kind of dead at points so like you couldn't read them you know what i mean like and and maybe that's also a thing because like she has blue eyes or whatever but there's something just cold about them like and how she would look at him and have no expression yeah and we're just going 
what does that mean though? Right. Like, yeah. what is she even thinking? Is she onto him? Is she not? Like, I, those are some really great choices to just keep it really subtle so that we, the audience, are on the edge of our seats the entire time. And like, just like the little details about, she's like, the penguins always yeah. do south or something like that. And you're like, she's nothing was wasted. Like, she's picking up on stuff. And I think that was part of her, like, when she's looking at him, deciding whether she believes him or not yeah. at certain moments. But it feels like accurate to if I was him in that bed, I would have tried. I Who knows what I would have done, but made those same choices. Like yeah. get the pills, hide the pills, try to find a knife, hide the knife. Yeah, because you're just trying to survive, yeah. right? And like he was in a situation where he was completely vulnerable. He's relying on her for for everything. And so, yeah, you have to think about like, okay, what what would I do? And you have to play into it. Um, in order to find a way out, you know? And, yeah. and even if that means, like, writing this stupid book for her. I'm a little bit just like, oh, man. I wish he could have published that book in a way. Like, that, yeah. that would have been kind of cool. But it was, like, quite exciting and poetic to have him burn that book that she so wanted because she made him burn the book that he really right. wanted to write. That pain is excruciating. I, I can't even imagine not having a copy yeah. of something. It was basically like your child. Yeah, <laughs> really. It is, I mean, it is when you're like a creator or anything and like that's your work and no copies of it, that is so painful. And so I feel like that was really poetic justice at the end to yeah. be like, I'm going to burn this. Yeah, no one's going to read yeah. this and you're never going to know what's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Even up to the point where like, you know, we learn about her character mm -hmm. and how she's super against swearing, right? And then at the very end, she swears at him. I'm like, nothing was wasted. Yes. All very tight. Totally. Very good. Very just Woo. like uncomfortable. Yes. It's a masterpiece. It's so good. That was an experience. <laughs> that was an experience. I get why people are like, Kathy Bates is the queen of horror. Yeah. I mean, recently, I guess, in American Horror Story. And she's yeah. really, really terrifying in that. And so, yeah, she's so good at this kind of, you know, unreadable, very grim, kind of scary character. Woman child. Yeah. Oh my With god. Stockings and little loafs. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> I mean everything it was all kind of like they, they hinted it at it so well. Like just little dropping little hints and we're all just like, oh crap. Yeah. She is a psycho. Psycho. Damn, like from like, I was following you and you know, I just, oh, how lucky I found you and all these little clues and it's just like, oh crap. And as we're figuring it out, he's figuring it out and it's just not a great situation for all of Yeah, involved. it was just a really well told story because all the little things felt, I don't know, grounded in some sort of reality. Yeah. And he's only alive because she was a stalker, right? He would yeah. have died out yeah. in the snow. That's true. And just from the begin, and just the way that they told it intertwined with the books and how the last book he published was When Misery Died. Just, it's just really tight script. Even the fact that like in a way, you know, I guess he has her to thank <laughs> for being able to, to write these books or like uh, gi giving him the, I don't know, impetus, inspiration, whatever. So maybe in a way she was his twisted muse. If we go back to my analogy of it being like a toxic relationship or, you know, an abusive relationship, it's like you can come out the other side and be like, I guess I learned some stuff. From yeah. That. Even though like you don't want to be in that situation to begin with, but I guess like the the best possible outcome is you get out of it and then maybe you learn from it and don't do it again. Right. Yeah. <laughs> what a ride. <laughs> what a ride. What what the hell why why did I come up with that? But yeah, <laughs> you guys let me know what you think. Yeah, I probably need a cup of hot cocoa myself now <laughs> just to come down from this experience um thanks for joining us <laughs> and if you watch this on patreon thanks for going through the entire thing with us and we'll catch you next time i'm achara cook this is steps abroad ciao